So nowadays, the globalization of the everything, including culture and whatever business model, you know, everything is globalizing, and then the, it means you know it sounds good, but it's actually it's diluting yourself, you know, from somebody else. If you, if you talk about the you know core competence of the company, you know, it's always the first step to think about the business model. What's your core competence? That means identification of yourself. And before that, you know, globalize, considering globalization, you are be under the dilution. So you are not uh, seeing yourself very well. So the, in short word, you know, the backgrounded culture incubated you and raised you and then you end up adult like now is the culture. The culture, talking about the culture, it's too big. But uh, let's say I split into two pieces. It's a uh, high culture, and a, you know, low culture or subculture. Subculture or probably contemporary culture. The high culture is uh, talking about the past. It's, uh, it's a tradition. Traditional orthodox thing is respected. So let's put it aside. You know, on the other side, the subculture is usually not respected by the serious people like adult or the governor or whatever, the CEO doesn't uh, respect the subculture of the young people. But the subculture's main career is uh, young people. Young people means future of your own world or, or your employee too. If you, the young employee is your company's future. So, you know, among the subculture, you, you can find some crystallized uh, jewelry in it. But if you look down on it, you can never find it because you ignore it. You don't let, you should respect the subculture because it shows your core, co future core competence is in it. So, but the problem is how the culture is relating to the product to make you the profit of your company or country or state or whatever. So that translation ability is the key bottleneck. Uh, so uh, if you look at the carefully about your subculture, you see that your co competence and then you, you know, translate into the functionality of your product. That's the biggest, uh, most you have to squeeze your brain in, in to, you know, get some answer out of it. So I, I wrote uh, my book and now it's under the uh, translation of this. Uh, uh, now it's already translated in Korean and the Taiwanese and the Thai. And then the English is coming in, a, in three, four months. So this is all about the Japanese subculture. How, much, how does it relate to the profit making you know, product specifications? And then this is uh, only the key, I, I believe. Otherwise, everything goes into the cost performance red oceans comp competition. So, you know, if you don't want to go into the red ocean, and then you find the blue ocean, then you got to find yourself. And then again, the, that is among your subculture, you know, because the career of your future is among, uh, you know, in, in the subculture, young people's subculture. Japan is luckily isolated as an island from the continent, so it's so clear, you know, easy to find out your originality because it's so different from anything else. But you are in the peninsula, and then, you know, if you let the things go without any thinking, it's just diluted by the power of this, you know, the EU <laughs> or whatever, global, you know, website is attacking you t into your brain, you know, to dilute yourself. So, but uh, look at yourself, that's important. And then I, I think, you know, on, on, compared to the other countries in Europe, you are at the edge of the whole continent. <laughs> so I think you can still make it on time. Technology is going to be advanced forever. But uh, the problem is the speed. You know, the, and then technology is, covers so many wide area of the, you know, the, 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 the territory. And, uh, some are electronics, some are the mechanical, some are the bioengineering. And then you can't mix them all together, you know, split field by field. 
uh, for example, the civil engineering is still you know, going to uh, improve every day, but compared to the information technology, it's a lot slower than before. In the time of like uh, you know, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, the civil engineering was a main driving force of the whole industry because every day higher towers are coming up. The, then the mechanical engineering time came. Then the electronics time came. That was probably 1970 to 80 or 90. Then the information technology time, now we are enjoying, you know, web in, in you know, cloud computation kind of thing. So then the biotechnology and the life science is coming. So it's all about the life, life cycle of the technologies. So leading the civil, mechanical, and the electronics, IT, then life science and maybe the wet life science, dry life science like a brain analysis, then the wet life science like a cell, you know, uh, artificial uh, it's in that cell kind of thing. So, so now the, it's a dr main driving force of the technology into the industry is the IT, but it's already maturing. So now we can't uh, create as fast as before. So the followers, like you know, the emerging markets, are uh, distance between us, Japan, and the followers country like Korea or Taiwan is uh, you know getting close every day. We are still ahead, but you know the distance is getting close. So that that means we cannot make it on the benefit anymore because the similar the performance is almost same. So that's the biggest problem of the technology. We qualitatively ahead, but quantitatively it's almost same. Then we have to find out another where of the benefit, then that should be the art. Because art and technology, it's the same. The purpose is to fulfill some goal. You know, we use sometimes art, sometimes the technology. So in Japanese language, art and technology is actually the same. You know, especially, you know, the 200 years ago, when we heard the word of technology, it was the same as art. We didn't distinguish, so I'm always telling to the Japanese uh, and the managers, people, management people, you know, don't think the art and technology is a different issue. It's actually the same thing. Yeah. So let's say before the, the typhoon or the storm was uh, such a miracle, mysterious power from the God, you know, all of a sudden the storm come and then take the all th everything away. So people believe that some strange God is inside of the typhoon. But nowadays we can see the typhoon from the top of the you know, satellite. So there is no God in it. So the science won against the, you know, the religion, religious creature. So one by one this science was, was killing the, you know, this artistic impression in the, the creature. So at that moment, at that time, people were you know, praying to the God, Typhoon, don't come please, you know, to the God, go to the shrine and please. Don't come and don't destroy my you know, the important thing. Then instead, now we can see the satellite and we just escape from the Typhoon. So that is the typical, you know, actually this religion and then the, the satellite was serving for the same purpose, to, to avoid, the, avoid the, the typhoon's damage. So it's actually the same, you know. So that's the go, go back to the origin. Once the sp speed of this advancedness of the technology is much saturated, then again the time of the art comes back, okay? Switch, hit, switch back to the art, okay? That's the, you know, now, at the beginning of the 21st century's technologies are. Ah.